Hello friends, once again welcome back to my channel Science Circle and today my topic is rusting. Here you can see a few pictures with a reddish brown coating, isn't it? This is nothing but rust. When an iron object is left in damp air or water for a certain time, it gets covered with a red brown flaky substance called rust. Before we go into the details, let us perform an experiment. Here we have taken three test tubes and numbered them as 1, 2 and 3. In the first test tube, we have given a small amount of calcium chloride so that it helps to dry the air. In the second test tube, it is filled up with boiled water so that we can remove the air or to better say dissolved oxygen is totally driven out. In the third test tube, we are pouring a small amount of water. Now you can see the picture of few iron nails. These three to four iron nails are dropped in each of the test tube and the mouth of the test tube is closed. After three to four days, the nails are taken out and examined carefully. In the first and the second test tube, there is no change, that is, there is no rust. But in the third test tube, the nails are being rusted. So, from this activity, we can say the conditions required for rusting is that the presence of oxygen of air and water or water vapor or moisture is required for rusting. So, the chemical equation of rusting can be presented as Fe plus oxygen plus water we get Fe2O3 which is iron oxide. Here you can see two pictures A coastal area and B hilly area. Now, can you guess where rusting will occur faster? Yes, the rusting of iron will occur faster in coastal areas because the air in those places contain lot of moisture. Now, rusting is actually a corrosion of metals like iron and steel as it converts a refined metal into a chemically stable form such as oxides and hydroxide. So, we can say rusting is an example of chemical change. Here, you can see a number of pictures. All these are made up of iron. So, rusting can be very costly if we have to constantly change the iron items. So, rusting has to be prevented. Rusting can be prevented in the following ways. Let us discuss. First, painting. This is generally done on the bicycles and the cars. When a coat of paint is applied to the surface of any iron object, the air and the moisture cannot come in contact. So, rusting can be prevented. This is generally also done in window grills, railings, iron bridges, coaches, etc. The other way is by adding a layer of oil or grease. Here in the bicycle chains or any machine parts, we use this because it lubricates and lowers down the rusting by coating it with grease or oil. The third method is galvanization. It is also known as sacrificial method. Why it's so? You can have a look of a reactivity table. Zinc is more reactive than iron. So, when it is exposed to oxygen and moisture, zinc has to be corroded faster than the iron. So, if we put together iron and zinc, a thin layer of zinc will protect the iron object by sacrificing itself. So, it is called as sacrificial process. This is applied to the different iron pipes in our home, the buckets or drums, whatever is there in our home, are galvanized. The fourth method is chrome plating. Here, iron is coated with chromium. 
Chromium is actually a metal which is resistant to the action of air and moisture and so it prevents rusting. This is generally done in the steel furnitures, the taps, bicycle handles etc. The fifth way that is rusting can also be prevented by allowing it to make stainless steel. When iron is mixed with carbon, chromium and nickel then stainless steel is obtained. This stainless steel actually prevent us from rusting. So we are using the different types of utensils which are generally made up of stainless steel and it doesn't get rusted when we are using so frequently in kitchen also. So from this video we can understand how rusting is formed in presence of oxygen and moisture and how it can be prevented. Mainly the method is barrier method that is by painting or covering by a plastic, oil or grease. Other than that we are also having the method of alloy formation and galvanization method. Hope you have understood the whole of rusting and its prevention and please if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel to get more interesting videos on your subject.